In this video, we will learn how you can automatically notify clients on WhatsApp about a message received in a Telegram group. Now, let's say you want every time you send a message in a Telegram group, your client should be notified in WhatsApp. So, we are going to automate this entire process using Pabbly Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. Now, let us first go to Pabbly's website. You can see the landing page of Pabbly. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Fabily Connect. Okay, it's loading. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write Telegram to WhatsApp, create. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. So let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when an order is placed, the action can be add order details in a Google Sheet. In our case, a trigger can be when a message is sent on Telegram, send a notification, the action can be send a notification on WhatsApp. So let us start and use Telegram as our Telegram bot as our trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select set webhook watch updates. So it will trigger when an update is made there in Telegram. Let us connect the two. Add new connection. So now it will ask you for token key here. Let us follow these instructions here. We'll have to go to our Telegram bot father and type a new bot type that is this. Okay, I'll copy this. This is my Telegram. I have come to my bot father. Just type this and send. Okay, it says a new bot. So how are we going to call it? So it is asking for a name. So I will just write angry horse you can name the bot as per your, you whatever you want so now it says let's choose a user, username for your bot and it must end with bot like this that means it should have bot in the end so i will just write this angry horse bot enter okay it's congratulations it's done so now in the second paragraph you will see this red uh, token this is the token here copy it Come back to Pabbly and paste it. Now save. Okay, it's processing. It shows connected. So now what we will do is we will just click on save and send test request. You will see it is waiting for response. So now what we will have to do is we'll have to do a test submission to make sure to check if Telegram is integrated with bot. For that, we will first have to go to our Telegram. You can see this link here in this message. Let us just click there. Click on start. So now you will see we have got our bot in our conversation. Now what we will do is we will create a new group. Add our bot. You can see this. I will add my bot in the group and name the group so name would be let's say whatsapp testing you can name as per your want okay so here it is now this is the group here if you'll click here i'll show you there are two members it's me and the bot so now what we have to do is we will have to promote the bot as your group admin so i've promoted this bot as the group admin using my mobile phone. So now let us just send this message for test purpose. That is our collection is getting launched this weekend. Do visit. Now come back to Pabli and see if it has received any message. Response. Yes, it has captured the response. You can see the group name is here WhatsApp testing. I'll show you. This is the group name in which the message was sent. Then if you will scroll down, you will see the message text as well. So this means we have successfully integrated our telegram with Pabbly. Now on to the next step. Click on the action step. 
and select Google Sheets. Okay, for the action event, we will simply select Get Rows, Connect, Add New Connection. I will select my account here and since I was already logged in here, I will not have to give my credentials. It says authorization successful. All right. So now it will show the various spreadsheets that I've created in my account in my Google Sheets. So I want to work on this client sheet. What I want is I want to what GetRow will do is basically so here is my client list. You can see the names, the first name, last name, email and contacts of my clients, my customers. So what it will do is this get row action will bring all this information here in the Pabli. And for that, we will have to select the range. So it says enter range of the sheet A2 to D5. So whatever range of the data, you, whatever data you have to want. So you can select the range accordingly. I want data right from here till here. So my range would be A2 is to D7. So I will write A2 is to D7. So after selecting the range, we will just simply turn off this simple response button and now click on save and send test request. So you will see it has captured all the data of our Google Sheet from A2 to D7. All these details are here. You can, leave, you can see the first name, the last name, email address, contact, and then the then it moves on to the second row. That is the second user's name, test, then the last name, email, and so on. However, you will see this data is little unorganized. So what we will do is we will add an action here and select iterator. Okay. The array would remain same that is response result this. So what iterator will do is it will convert this data which is in array format. From array format this will convert the data in row format. So now I'll show you just let me click on save and send test request. So Now you have seen it has captured the data row wise. Instead of all together at once it's captured the data row wise. So, and another important part uh, about a trader is that when we will add WhatsApp in the next step, so what it will do is first it will send the message, first it will pick this, this number that is the first contact number and once the WhatsApp message has been sent to this number, it will come to the other row, the next row, it will pick the name and contact details, the WhatsApp message would be sent to this contact, after that again it will come to the next row and so on. And this loop will work till your uh, last contact in the uh, sheet. So what will happen basically is iterator is going to pick the contact details, contact number one by one till the last contact of your Google sheet. All right. Now on to our final step. That is WhatsApp. So let us select WhatsApp Cloud API. For the action event, we will select send template message, connect. Add new connection. Now it will ask you for a few details like token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. For this, we will go to uh, developers page. Here you can see the developers page. Come to the left hand side, WhatsApp and you will see getting started. Right on the top, you will see temporary access token. Let us copy this and paste it. Just one more thing. So here you can see the warning, the token will expire in 23 hours. So why? Because this is a temporary access token. So what will happen is once this token expires, your workflow will stop running. But don't you worry, we have a full fledged video on how you can generate a permanent access token here. Its link would be, you can find its link below in the description box. Now come back to Pabli and see what it needs. It needs phone number ID again to developers page, scroll a bit. And you will see phone number ID. Let's copy this, come back and paste it. Now it needs WhatsApp, WhatsApp business account ID. Again, we will go to developers page and right next to WhatsApp uh, phone number ID, you will see WhatsApp business account ID. We will copy this and paste it. Save. And you will see it's connected. 
So now I'm going to select the templates. So these were the WhatsApp templates that I had made. I want to use this template message on. I'll show you how it looks like. So this message, a message like this, hello demo, that is the person's name will go, come here. Like you can see the field has been created. You have received a message or whatever these fields we will fill in later. This message, this template message would be sent to the user on WhatsApp whenever they receive a message on Telegram. All right, now let us map few details. So we need recipient's mobile number now. So that we are going to map from iterator. So click there and you will select the mobile number. Now you will select the name body field one, which is name. You can see hello. That is the person who we are sending this to. Their name will come. So again, we are going to take it from iterator. You can see the name here, dummy. Then body field two. This is the application's name. Let us see what exactly it is. You have received a, okay, yes, application we will write here. So we are just going to write here telegram, telegram notification like it would come here on. Now here the groups or the channels name will come here. So that again, we are going to map it from telegram. You will see the group name will come here. That is WhatsApp testing. Okay. Now you must be thinking where exactly we got these details from all these details. So I'll take you to step one here when we connected Pabli with Telegram and it captured the most recent response here in the Telegram message. Then it picked the details from Google Sheets here and iterator arranged it in row format. So Pabli brought exactly these details like you can see these details here from Telegram bot from Google Sheets and Iterator, Pabli captured all these responses and brought us here so that we can easily map in. And the interesting thing about mapping is from next time, these mapped in fields like the mobile number, the name will automatically be updated. So whenever next time a telegram message, a person receives a telegram message, these fields here in the WhatsApp action, recipient mobile number, their name, then the channel name or the group's name, these will automatically be updated and you will not have to do it all over again manually. Now let us just save and send test request. Now you will see we have received the response here. Now let us go to the user's WhatsApp account and see if they have received any notification. And here you can see, here is the message, hello dummy. That was the person's name that we mapped in here. Like you can see the person's name that we mapped in. Hello dummy, you have received a telegram notification. Remember this telegram here we had given the app's name. Then here it is, you have received a telegram no notification on WhatsApp testing. That is the group's name here. You can see we mapped in these fields. So this means we have successfully integrated our WhatsApp Cloud API and Telegram using Pabli Connect. I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.